Hi everyone! So, mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare, specifically about a type of skincare na very, very timely and relevant ngayon sa Philippines. And these are, of course, our rejuvenating sets, also known as Rejuve. So, napag-usapan na natin ang Rejuve sa channel na to before. I've made several videos about it already. But this time, gusto ko naman kunin ang thoughts and opinions ng isang actual na expert sa skin. And so, for this video, we are joined by Dr. Erin Santos, a board-certified dermatologist and dermatopathologist. And a lot of you guys already know her on social media as the Nerdy Derma. Hello, Doc Erin. So nice to have you here. Kumusta ka naman? Hi, Jan. I'm doing fine. It's quite warm. Medyo mainit kasi puulan na sa amin. I just have a question, Doc. Ano ang mga initial thoughts mo for our topic today of rejuvenating sets? Initial thoughts, siguro, yung traditional kasi na term na rejuvenate set, automatic ay associated as parang nangangamatis na balat. Yun lagi yung automatic kung maiisip. However, the good thing is there are smarter, kinder, and more gentle sets available ngayon sa market. So, while the traditional sets meron pa rin, at least may options na tayo na medyo mas balayan sa balat. Alright, so from their first thoughts pa lang, Doc, no, ang dami na nating nadidiscover and so I'm super excited to explore this topic with an actual expert. Alright, so before we begin, I just want to let you guys know that a portion of this video is in partnership with Hello Glow, but all the information na ibibigay ni Doc Erin dito applies in general sa pagpili ng mga Rejuve sets. And then, after we chat with Doc Erin, I'll be showing you how I personally apply it sa sariling paggamit ko ng Hello Glow set. So, just as a follow-up question, Doc, Kasi feeling ko merong mga manonood dito na beginners pa lang sila and they might be interested sa paggamit ng Rejuve. What are your top tips to help sa pagtingin kung safe ba to use ang isang rejuvenating set? First, try to look for reputable companies. And by reputable, ibig sabihin they're established, their safety record. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka naman makakarinig ng consumer complaint na, oh my gosh, nasunog na nga mati sa sa ganitong brand. So, those are the things that you can uh, look out for. And also, if the brand or the company complies with the regulating body, here in the Philippines, we have our FDA. I think you can just type it sa website ng FDA, no? And then you can just check if nandun and approve siya or notify yung cosmetic na. Done. Okay, so Doc Erin, since maraming iba't ibang mga takes ang mga tao when it comes to reduce sets, ang gusto ko sanang gawin for this one is sort of like a true or false format. So, magbibigay ako ng statement and then, i-determine natin kung true or false siya and then, we can keep discussing it further. So, game ka ba dun, Doc? Game na game. Medyo kinakabahan ako, mas para exam eh. <laughs> Pero game tayo dyan. Alright, so ang first statement natin, Doc, is kapag nagkukos ng peeling and redness ang isang rejuvenating set, it means effective siya. Is this true or false? I would have to say hard false. So dati, noong unang panahon, gusto natin yung nangangamatis, yung namumula. However, that is actually a sign of what we call Irritation contact dermatitis. Literally, na irritate yung skin mo. And we don't want that to happen. Actually, ang users natin ng mga sets, they're very smart na ngayon. Alam nila na anything na namumula, ang next na doon magbabrown, lalo na sa mga ka-skin type ko, mga morena. So, we don't want that dyan. Gusto natin gentle, pero may results. So, Doc, ano ba yung mga usual na ingredients that actually cause yung pag-red, pag-irritate, and pag-peel ng skin? The thing is, John, we have to be careful dito sa Pilipinas. As much as uh, gustong natin sigurado yung mga products natin sa market, meron at meron pa rin mga sets na hindi nagko-comply sa regulations na yung may mga bawal talaga pong ingredients na ilagay sa cosmetics. Kasama po doon yung uh, hydroquinone and Yung tretinoin, it's a type of retinoid. Meron siyang certain na sukat na sinusundan para masabi over-the-counter or um, prescription-based. Yung kailangan po ng reseta. Those things, dapat wala po talaga sa cosmetics. However, hindi lahat ng set sumusunod doon. Hydroquinone and tretinoin, magaling sila na ingredients. As in, gold standard sila pang treat ng halimbawa. Plasma, acne. However, kailangan binabantayan kayo ng dermatologist habang ginagamit mo sila kasi meron silang side effects na walang atrasan. Halimbawa, sa hydroquinone, possible kasi na when you first use it, ah, glow, penis, kanyan. However, if hindi ka marunong, for example, I'll just tell you na ngayon na you have to be 
protected sa sinag ng araw every time you use it. Kasi pag nasinagan siya, nagkakos siya ng reaction sa balat na literally naninilaw yung collagen fibers ng balat mo. And pag nangyari yun, ang hirap na niyang balik ka rin. Napakarami naming patients na nagsasabi, sana hindi ko na lang siya ginawa. So, I don't want mangyari sa inyo yun. So, leave it to the experts na igagayad kayo kung paano siya gagamitin. Si Tretinoy naman, um, regarding halimbawa sa mga side effects niya, pwede ka kasi magkaroon ng severe irritation reaction. Yung talagang pulang-pula. Namamaga talaga yung face kapag nag-react. Ang tawag doon, retinoid dermatitis. So, that needs medical treatment na kailangan na magpahit ng gamot para pa-attractin siya. And once na-irritate ka na, Ang hirap ng pakalmahin ng skin. So, lalo kang mahihirapan magpakinis ng balat if sa simula pa lang, irritated na yung skin mo. So, magagaling sila. Pero if yun ang gusto mo, I encourage you to consult with a board-certified dermatologist to help you understand paano siya gamitin well. The good thing is, mas aware na tayong mga buyers niya ng mga sets and we try to avoid sets which have that specific ingredient. However, even yung mga usual na exfoliants like yung mga acids, pwede rin mag ng pamumula. Even if yung mga acids, kapag napasobra kayo, halimbawa sinabi sa product once a day, nilagay nyo siya thrice a day, talagang mag-re-red kayo doon. So, talagang susundan niyo yung instructions ng product. Or, pag pinagpatong-patong mo, halimbawa, may toner ka na may acid, sabon mo may acid, night cream mo may acid, tapos nilayer mo silang lahat, pwede kang mamula doon. So, isang tip again, pwede mong gawin kung nagsustart ka lang, toner ka ng Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Tapos yung clean mo, Tuesday, Thursday. So, yun yung mga technique para hindi ka mamula Alright, so ito, next question, Doc. This is actually very interesting. So, the statement is, glass skin and poreless skin can be achieved by using Rejuve sets. Is this a true or is this a false? Siguro, I will say partially true. Oh, sige, isa-isahin natin. Panahin ko yung glass skin. So, saan ba siya nang galing? Define natin. Yung glass skin, actually, so balat natin, if it's makinis, so very smooth, Pag natamaan siya ng ilaw, magre-reflect siya. Yun yung sinasabi natin ng glow or yung glass skin. Now, if yung palitada mo parang baku-baku siya, magaspam, pag sininagan mo siya ng araw, hindi siya magre-reflect. Hindi kasi, kasi hindi siya makinis, hindi siya parang salamin. So, wala ka ng glass skin effect. Now, in terms of that outcome, napakikinisin mo yung balat mo, fire radiant ka, pag naarawan ka, para ka may highlight yun. Definitely, pwede yun makuha ng, ng regime set. na tama, yung magandang klaseng reduce set, hindi yung may mga makalungkang reduce set. Now, on the other hand, dun tayo sa poreless. Ngayon pala, please know na ang pores, normal siya, ang kailangan siya ng balat natin, and walang tumitingin sa inyo ng ganito kalapit para tingnan na may pores ka. <laughs> kailangan mag-set ka ng expectation na, ah, actually, normal yung pores ko, and... hindi ako pangit dahil may pores ako. So, pag in-adjust mo yung mindset na yun, magkakaroon ka ng ibang skin goals na mas ma-achieve mo, hindi ka ma-frustrate. Kasi, imposible yung isang, isang ganun mo, para ka na-filter. Definitely, may mga procedures which can help shrink the pores. Shrink ha, hindi bura po. So, shrink lang yun. Pwede yun. Now, if you want to use sets for that, bakit ba lumalaki ang pores? Pwede siyang punok ng dead skin at saka oil. So, kung may products ka na mag unclog so mga exfoliants or mga retinol, uh, makaka-improve siya ng appearance. Pero hindi po tanggal ha, kasi parang pag sinabi mo gusto mong poreless, para mo sinabi, Dok, ayoko nang tubuan ng buhok sa anip. Mahirap gawin yun kasi normal na part siya ng katawan. Alright, so next statement, Dok. Okay. We can use other products while on rejuvenating sets. Is this a true or is this a false? This is true. So, we see ko sa inyo guys. So, for example, sa pasyente ko na nag acne treatment, of course, meron akong preferred na retinoids. Kasi kung may acne, kailangan talaga retinoids na prescription level. And pag gumagaling na yung mga, dark, mga breakouts ng patients, may mga dark spots na, maybe, kung ano, may natitirang blackheads and whiteheads, nagsasama ako ng add-ons. So, dito pong pwedeng pumasok yung reduce set mo na, halimbawa, um, may mga salicylic acid, may mga niacinamide. So, tutulungan niya yung main treatment ng patient para overall achieve mo lahat ng skin goals. Control yung breakouts, 
minimal dark spots, kinis ng balat, hindi clog yung pore. So definitely, you can. Now, if hindi ka sure kung saan isisingit, so ang easy tip would be, you think of your, ano ba gusto mo ma-achieve? So kaya dark spots, so tingnan mo yung set mo. Alin ba dito yung ingredient na pwedeng mag-treat ng dark spots? So halimbawa, niacinamide. O kunin mo muna si niacinamide product. O kung wari, magaan siya. Pag ginamit mo, para siyang moisturizing, hindi ka nahahapdian. O quick mo siya i-layer doon sa step ng moisturizing step. So halimbawa naman, wala ka ng dark spots. Gusto mo lang i-unclog yung mga pores sa ilong. Hanap ka sa set. O alin ba dito? Meron ba dito may acid, may gentle? So kung wari, may uh, exfoliant o... Pwede mo isingit yon before you moisturize para unclog mo yung pores mo tapos pwede ka magdagdag ng anti-acne treatment Very interesting, Doc, kasi yung ibang tao, kanyari bumibili sila ng set, ang iniisip nila is gagamitin na nila lahat ng products tapos yun yung routine nila. Pero what I'm understanding from you, Doc, is pwede pang may ibang strategies to incorporate it kapag meron ka ng routine. So, pwedeng isa-isa lang. So, pwedeng, uh, for example, itong toner muna yung uh, bagay sa routine mo. And then, pag naubos na yung toner, maybe you can incorporate the cleanser or the other night cream na meron. So, tama ba yun, Doc? So, isa-isa lang, that can also be a way to incorporate the, uh, the reduced set sa skincare. Yes, definitely. Pwede siyang isa-isa. So, yun yung advantage na kasi it comes in a set. Halimbawa, may existing routine ka na. Na, halimbawa, anti-acne or anti-blackheads. And nagustuhan mo yung set kasi meron siyang ingredient na papasok dun sa gusto mong makuhang skin concern. Ang kagandahan ng set, uh, meron kang other products that you can try. However, hindi ka required na gamitin all, diba, all three or all four at the same time. Pero, it's up to you. Basta kung anong kailangan mo, you can mix and match kung which part of the set is needed. Singit ko lang yun dyan. Yes. If nag-red siya, huwag niyong pipilitin. Kahit pink lang yan, kasi usually hinihintay ng patients na mahapdian eh. So kahit mag-pink yan, so kung kaya nagsiset kayo, even if magpula-pula pa lang, pahinga lang kayo. So stop lang kayo. It means nagre-respond na yung balat ninyo. Hintayin niyong bumalik sa normal skin bago kayo mag-restart. Kasi pag pinilit nyo pa yun, kamatis na yung susunod doon. And then lastly do, kasi ito, nanonotice ko talaga to in a lot of Rejuve Set users and I just want to set the record straight. How important is using sunscreen habang gumagamit ka ng Rejuve or skincare actives and how much should we be putting sa skin natin? Sunscreen is important especially if you're trying to address dark spots kasi those dark spots lalong mas matagal yan mawawala kung hindi ka naka-sunscreen. Second importance niya, if gusto mo ng anti-aging, ayaw mo mag-fine lines, ayaw mo yung mga spots from sun exposure, you have to wear sunscreen every day. Kasi siya yung magbabantay from those things. Para makuha mo yung SPF na nasa label, ang pinaka-short kasi doon is yung two fingers rule. Isa dito, isa dito na, isa dito, isa dito, straight na sunscreen. However, maging practical tayo. Ako mismo, sobrang bigat kapag ganito yung ginawa ko. Tapos morena ako. Pag ginawa ko yon, parang pwede na akong <laughs> after. So, ang isa ko ang technique dyan. Um, personally, ha, ako, I use just this amount. Indoors lang ako. Um, hindi ako naaarawan. So, I, I really don't need to wear so much sunscreen. Now, ikaw, Depende ko anong kailangan mo. Kumari, office ka lang naman, hindi ka rin masyadong naaarawan. So, nakapayong ka pa, nakashave. So, just adjust it ko anong kailangan. Alright, so grabe Doc Erin, that was such a productive discussion. Thank you so much for this and I say this to all the derms who come over sa channel kasi totoo talaga siya but I wish we had more time to talk and discuss about this in depth. But I think sobrang dami na rin naman nating na-cover and I think this is going to be so helpful for everyone watching our YouTube channel. So thank you Doc Erin for making this information accessible to us. Thank you so much Jan. Enjoy ako challenging yung tanong mo. <laughs> And also guys, para malaman nyo lang, Doc Erin is actually very active online and in social media. So, Doc Erin, saan ka ba namin mahahanap online? Usually, nakatambay ako sa Twitter and sa Instagram and TikTok all under my hashtag TheDirtyDerma and my same handle at TheDirtyDerma. Okay, and if you guys want any other topics that you want me or Doc Erin to cover in the future, let us know in the comments. But for now, Doc Erin, I will see you soon. Bye! Bye. 
Alright, so now na napag-usapan na natin ang reduce sets with Doc Erin, now we know the facts, and now we can move on to kung paano ba natin to ina-apply sa pagpili ng tamang reduce set. So as you guys all know, hindi talaga ako masyadong ma-reduce set, Pero sa past videos ko, one that I've tried and I've liked is itong blue set ng Hello Glow. This is their Advanced Rejuvenating Set. Pero ang tanong is, since di ba iba't iba yung mga sets ng Hello Glow, marami silang iba't ibang sets na available, paano ko nalaman na ito yung bagay na set for me? So, let's put Doc Erin's tips to the test. So, ang first na sinabi ni Doc Erin is to look for a reduced set na FDA notified or approved. So, meaning naka-register na siya doon sa database ng FDA. And for that one, hindi ko naman siya masyado naging problema ever kasi yung mga pinagpipilian kong Hello Glow sets, lahat to guys are FDA notified. So, compliant naman si Hello Glow doon and that actually adds to them being a reputable brand which is also another thing na sinabi ni Doc na i-consider. Now, next na sinabi ni Doc Erin is to avoid reduced sets na non-compliant na naglalagay ng mga tretinoin and hydroquinone na walang paalam kasi better daw yun as gamot and with supervision ng dermatologist. So again, for Hello Glow sets, check ulit yun kasi ang mga main ingredients ng Hello Glow sets are mostly exfoliants and retinol. So meaning, okay ulit tayo in that department. Now next, sabi rin ni Doc Erin to align yung mga ingredients sa skin goals natin. And ako personally, ang goals ng skin ko right now, meron akong acne meds so sila yung nag address ng acne ko pero kung titingnan ninyo yung routine ko, meron akong mga iba't ibang mga routine video Sinasabay ko talaga yung mga acne meds ko with products that help brighten the skin, brighten dark spots, fade red marks, etc. Et and for me talaga guys, ang best for that na sinasupplement ko sa mga acne medications ko is itong blue na set. And that is because meron siyang kojic na toner which can actually help lighten dark spots. And also meron din siyang retinol na moisturizer. And nakakatulong din yun sa mga dark spots, red marks. But mainly ko siya ginagamit for signs of aging to prevent yung mga signs of aging around sa mata ko, sa neck, and even the backs of my hands. Na itong other two sets naman ng Hello Glow, itong Blemish Miracle na Orange and itong Acne Defense na Green, tinest ko rin to actually for a few months. And ang verdict ko actually for this is mas gusto ko tong mga to sa katawan. Kasi na-realize ko na mas ma-exfoliant sa ako sa katawan, sa face hindi masyado, pero sa katawan, parang minsan 4 to 5 times a week ako gumagamit. As in, kung nakita nyo na yung body care routine ko, lagi talaga akong merong BHA or AHA and BHA wash sa shower. And ayun, madalas ko nga siya talagang nagagamit kasi kaya naman ng katawan ko na na -e exfoliate through a wash ng ilang times a week. Na itong acne defense, I would prefer this one if gusto kong i-prevent yung mga chest and back breakouts. Ako kasi na-control ko na siya ngayon. And a good way to maintain that is a set with salicylic acid or BHA as well as tea tree oil to help keep the pores unclogged. Na itong orange naman na blemish miracle, parang mas general brightening siya of the body in my opinion. Doon siya mas nababagay sa routine ko. Pero sa face kasi guys, ayun nga, minsan lang talaga ako mag-exfoliate because of my acne meds. Pag nagdagdag pa ako ng exfoliant, may irritate na yung skin ko. And that is the reason why dito ako sa blue because wala naman to masyadong exfoliants. I don't really need it sa routine ng face ko. And that just goes to show guys na depende talaga sa goals ninyo, doon nyo pipiliin yung tamang set for you. So there is no one set for everyone. And last but definitely not the least, eto na-confirm na to ni Doc Erin kanina, kailangan ng sunscreen. It is a must. Na ito guys, lagi ko tong sinasabi and ang hello glow mismo, alam nila to. I do not recommend buying these sets without sunscreen. Pero buti na lang, meron namang ino-offer ang Hello Glow na separate sunscreen na mas malaki yung size. And this is their 3-in-1 Sun Care Gel. Ito, lightweight, watery, and a bit glowy lang yung finish nito, which makes it a good sunscreen that can actually protect your skin from sun damage. And ako minsan, ginagamit ko na to as a moisturizer and a sunscreen in one para lesser steps yung routine ko. So yun na siya guys. I hope nakatulong tong video na to sa inyo, especially for those na naghahanap ng more information information about Rejuve sets. And if you liked any of the products in this video, I will be putting some links in the description box below. And all of those links will lead to the official Hello Glow store on Shopee and Lazada. And if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!